As you may know, the New York Jets were scheduled to meet with veteran defensive lineman Calais Campbell, formerly of the Baltimore Ravens, tomorrow. But he's not even going to take the meeting with the Jets or the Bills. Per Ian Rappaport, he is signing a deal with the Atlanta Falcons. So Calais Campbell, the best defensive tackle left on the market, in my opinion, is now off the market. For me, the Jets have to do one of two things. They have to get a starting quality defensive tackle, which there's few left. We'll talk about that in a moment. Or center Ben Jones. They have to plug one of those two holes before the draft. Ideally, they would have plugged both. But look, in my opinion, just draft a defensive tackle is not really a plan. Are you drafting a defensive tackle at pick 13? Highly unlikely. The second round picks, one of those is going to Green Bay. And then the other one, you'd like to take a center, in my opinion. You don't have a third round pick. And the defensive tackles we have outside of Quinton Williams, Solomon Thomas, Tanzel Smart, we can be homers all we want, but come on. Those guys are roster bubble level talent. Solomon Thomas, great guy. Decent depth piece as your fourth defensive tackle, but he did hardly anything last year. And he's just not a starter. He just isn't. So if you're telling me our starting defensive tackle next to Quinton Williams is either Solomon Thomas, Tanzel Smart, or a fourth round rookie, not good enough. Not good enough when you're trying to compete for a Super Bowl. Now, at the end of the day, if you have to take that second round pick and plug in a starter at defensive tackle or center, I can live with that. Defensive tackle or center, not both. Got to get a veteran in here to plug in at least one of those two holes. Now, we know Ben Jones is the best center left on the market. In terms of defensive tackle, the guy that I think who's still available, who fits what the Jets want to do is Chris Wormley, formerly of the Pittsburgh Steelers. He had seven sacks in 2021, then a reduced role in 2022, only one sack. He's played inside outside. I think he fits that JFM, Michael Clemens kind of mold where he's long. He's a little bit lighter than most defensive tackles, um, but there's some versatility there. Puna Ford is a guy who's an outlier in his build, 5'11", 315 pounds, but he would be an upgrade. He'd be a starter. His former teammate, Al Woods, who's 35, would still be an upgrade over what the Jets have now. There was interest in Linval Joseph last year. He could be a rotational guy who would be helpful against the run. So you got to bring one or maybe even two of those guys in if they're both cheap, in my opinion, and then we'll keep tabs on Ben Jones. Now, I know Odell Beckham Jr. is the flashy name right now, but we have starters at wide receiver. Like if we roll out our wide receiver room right now, we had a game tomorrow, we're good. At defensive tackle and center, we're not good. I hate to be nitpicky here because we're about to get Aaron freaking Rodgers. Uh, the talent on this team is immense, but that also means the expectations are higher. And that also means that every position matters. So hopefully we can get one of those two plugs soon and uh, we'll talk all soon.